of the events unfolding around us are making clearer than ever that we're living in the final part of the last days, undoubtedly the final part of the final part of the last days, shortly before the last day of the last days. Rose here. As one of Jehovah's Witnesses, we're taught that we will know the time of the end when we see certain things, like the COVID pandemic in 2020. Wars definitely show us that we are in the time of the end. Right now, we have two wars that have recently happened on the world front. We have had the Ukrainian war since 2022 and most recently we have had the war between Israel and Hamas. So do these two wars show us that the end is imminent? Before we go on, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps these videos go out to a wider audience. At Matthew 24, we see Jesus said, what would be the sign of his presence and of the conclusion of the system of things? In verse 6, he said, you're going to hear of wars and reports of wars. Verse 7, it says, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be food shortages in one place after another. So the wars we see should show us that the end is imminent. Right? Well, you would think so, according to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. But let me tell you how many times I've heard that in my lifetime. The first major conflict I remember is Desert Storm. Then the war in the Baltics. Nine eleven happened, and that was completely horrific. Then there was the invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq, and then when we pulled out of Afghanistan. In 2022, the Ukrainian war happened. And most currently, the war in Israel each time a new war would happen, we would be told how that was the sign of the end. I think Desert Storm really sticks out to me because I remember my dad saying just that, how that showed us that we were in the time of the end. Well, that was in 1990, over 30 years ago. Wars aren't the only thing that that scripture talks about. When you look at the entire passage of what Jesus said, you'll see that there are a lot of other things that need to happen because, as you see, he said, you're not to be alarmed because the end is not yet. Jesus said that there would be wars food shortages, and earthquakes in one place after another. But he also said that these were the beginnings of pains of distress. Yes, 
we do see food shortages and earthquakes happening around the world. But we've seen those things before as well. Jesus said that his followers would be hated by all of the nations. Not all the nations hate Jehovah's Witnesses. In verse 10, he said that within his followers, there would be those who are stumbled and will betray each other. He said that they're going to hate each other. I don't see that among Jehovah's Witnesses. He said that the good news would be preached in all of the inhabited earth to all the nations, all peoples. But we haven't seen that, have we? So when you hear a member of the governing body say this. So the events unfolding around us are making clearer than ever that we're living in the final part of the last days, undoubtedly the final part of the final part of the last days, shortly before the last day of the last days. Or you see something major happen in the world, like the wars we see going on now, or the pandemic that happened in 2020. Remember, there's other things that need to take place. And this wouldn't have been the first time that they said that we were definitely in the very last part of the last days, is it? Remember, too, that they have to cry peace and security and that it needs to be proclaimed and people around the world need to believe it. I know as a witness the feeling when you see something major happen in the world, that sick to your stomach feeling. Maybe you're new to questioning what the organization teaches and you see these current events happening and you wonder, are you making a mistake in questioning the organization? What you need to remember is Instead of just listening to what is being said by the governing body or branch, look what is actually taking place that fulfills everything the Bible says has to happen. Because it's not just part of what needs to take place, it's everything. Anything else claimed is just playing on your hopes and emotional fear of the future or the end. If you do start to question yourself, go back through your research and what you found. Remember what you saw and reread it or rewatch it. That sick feeling will eventually go away. And one day, you might not even have it at all anymore. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps it go out to others and algorithms of some sort. And if you're able to, please share it with others. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Hang in there. Stay strong. Thanks for watching.